Hey guys, and welcome back to Quantum of Solace. Today we're going to pick up right where we left off last time. And last time was where we uh, broke into Mr. White's mansion. Or estate, I guess. And we captured Mr. White, and we're bringing him to a safe house in Siena so that M could interrogate him. Siena is where we're headed today. Let's get going. This is Tanner, confirming delivery. Confirmed. White's in custody. Em and Bond are about to speak with him now. Room one. Are you going to tell us who you work for? I was very interested to meet you, Mr. Bond. I'd heard so much about you from Vespa. You know the real shame? If she hadn't killed herself, we would have had you too. I think you would have done anything for her. Mr. White. You do know that you're not in Britain, and God knows where you'll be tomorrow. You will eventually tell us everything about the people you work with, and the longer it takes, the more painful we'll make it. Then the first thing you should learn is that we have people everywhere. Am I right, Mitchell? Em, get out! Ma'am, are you all right? We have an agent, KIA. White's been shot as well. The gunman is Mitchell. He's on the run. Sorry, ma'am. Did you say Mitchell? Yes, Mitchell, my bodyguard. Alert the Siena Station Chief. Mitchell's betrayed us. Bond's after him now. Mitchell cannot be allowed to escape. He must be caught. Medical to the basement. On their way. Do you see Mitchell? He's heading underground to the old Roman cisterns. Well, that went about as badly as an interrogation could go. But we did get to see the cool framing device they use for most of the levels in the game, which is the recording through the MI6 computers. We're going to be seeing a fair bit of that. It's pretty cool. The Palio horse races today. It's likely to be unstable down there. We've got 15,000 Palio fans directly above you. Worry about Mitchell, Tanner, not me. Find his exit. Here we pick up a new gun. The GF-18A is a, well, pretty obviously a Glock pistol. The GF-18 is a good weapon to use to demonstrate another mechanic I haven't shown off yet. If you look in the bottom left where the gun name is, you can see we actually have a fire mode selector. So we can pick a single shot, or we can switch to full auto. Many guns in the game have at least two fire modes, although usually they are single shot or full auto. We pick up another new gun, the Mantis. And this is another machine pistol, submachine gun type of weapon. Oh. 
You may have also noticed that we picked up a grenade. There are grenades in this game, they're just not, I don't know, that useful or that integral to combat. Okay, so a little bit of destruction, but we now have a clear way forward. We're going to pick up another new weapon here, the SAF 9mm, with an attached arrow scope. This is the uh, SAF 45's little brother. The scope is an example of some of the attachments you can find on guns in the game. I've lost him. Hold on, we've got it. Open manhole dead ahead. There's a car waiting on the road above. I'm guessing it's his. On my way. So Mitchell's not just running from us now, now he's trying to blow us up. Finally above ground. Oh god, the watermelons. We kind of run into an ambush here. There are a lot of guys. It's just climbed onto a roof. Where is he, Tanner? Get the stairs, Bond. Or we gotta get back on Mitchell's trail, but first we gotta get rid of all these guys. All these watermelon murderers. And that should be everybody. Before we do move forward though, the uh, first cell phone of the level is back here in this little cafe. So, a text message about a backup sidearm. We should probably keep our eyes open for that, sounds like it might be useful. We need want to follow Mitchell, so we want to climb up onto the rooftops as well. Sorry, lady. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. Again, before we move on, another cell phone. This is Sleeper 1. Objective achieved. I'm requesting immediate backup at Campo and Via del Pellegrini. Exfil was dirty. Expected extraction point is now at the gallery. Well, at least now we know where he's going. One other thing in this room, that backup sidearm in this nice yellow case. And hell yeah, the LTK Super Magnum. This thing is basically just a huge fuck-off revolver. Takes almost everything down in one hit.
It may take things down in one hit, but you only get five shots, and the reload animation takes... takes a while. Something about this animation just bugs the hell out of me. You can definitely hear that next cell phone right down here in the corner. And this is, I guess, Mitchell's activation email. Or text message, I guess. Now that guy there actually survives uh, the first shot with the Magnum. I'm wondering whether the glass absorbed a lot of the uh, energy from the bullet. But yeah, guy must be pretty tough. Where is he, Tanner? Is he heading for the towers? Confirmed. So those towers in the distance are the gallery we're headed towards. Before we go there, last cell phone is just up here. This one's very not useful. It just tells us that the uh, gallery is under renovation. He's headed for those bell towers. You're on the wrong side, Bond. Can you find a way across? I'm sure we can find some way across, thanks to this nice big bus. Find cover bomb. There's a gunman in that bell tower. You'll have to take him out. So we get yet another new weapon here. This is the A3 Raker. It's a scoped rifle, which is pretty good, actually. M's not going to be happy about that mess. He's not That bell is in an awfully precarious position, right over the doorway there. A little hesitant about approaching it. God damn bell. Anyway, Mitchell's supposed to be in this tower, and I don't think he has anywhere left to run. So here we have the first sort of boss fight of the game, sort of an extended combat sequence that acts as the end cutscene of the level, where we get a whole bunch of quick time events, and it's definitely possible to fail, and you'll have to redo it. And with that, the level ends. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.